Hey y'all, welcome to the Messy Studio. Come on in and see what's going on. I have two Beale collar chucks. One for my big lathe and one for the other two midi lathes. And I've got a full set of collets for them. This is only four. Like I said, I've got a full set of collets, I think. I, I don't remember exactly how many, 18. But uh, I need a good place to store these because I've, I've just kept them in a box and they've been rattling around. So I'm gonna put them in that cabinet under the lathe. And I'll put them in there and they keep falling down. So. I'm gonna make me a quick rack to go in the bottom of the cabinet so that these stay upright. So how am I doing it? Well, I'm simply using a piece of... I'm simply using a piece of half-inch plywood. I'm laying a grid out. I decided to video this last minute. Just so I have some kind of a project up. So my, for my grid, I'm leaving myself an inch and a quarter border. From the center of the hole. All the way around. And I'm putting the holes two inches between centers. In the middle. So I've got the grid, the grid laid out. Go over to the drill press and drill them out. This doesn't have to be perfect. Just close. Cut it to final size and sand it. I think I'm gonna shoot it with a coat of black primer. I decided to use white. Because this is the only can it would work. I don't care how you clear the tips on Rust-Oleum cans, they always clog up. I've got two brand new cans of Valspar, they're clogged as well. Krylon, I've never had one clog.
this is basically just to protect it a little bit. I mean, it is going to be in a toolbox, so it's not really going to be seen. Yes, it's not the prettiest finish. I've got fuzzies around the holes. They don't have to be perfect. Yes, there are those who would have done this all real pretty and sanded it up, and made sure they removed all the fuzzies, even for a shop tool. And that's fine. I have shop jigs that I've put a lot of care and finish on. This just isn't one of them. I'm in too big a hurry. There's other stuff that I want to get done. Uh, this is just going to sit in the bottom of the drawer. It don't have to be pretty. What it has to do... is hold these collet cups. And it does that just fine. So I'll let this dry a few minutes, put it in the drawer, put those in. We'll call this one done. And I'll show you the final product when it's in the drawer. 84.9 in the shop today, it's about 83 outside, 74% humidity. We got over six inches of rain last night, broke a record uh, from, I don't remember how long ago, 60 years maybe, 40 years. Anyway, broke a record, previous record was 1.07 inches. Like I said, rained over six inches. And it is humid, we got more rain forecast over the next couple of days, we'll see. Here it is in place of the drawer. Yeah, they take up a little more space this way. And I got room for more if I buy more. Right, so far this has been enough, but you never know. But this is a relatively open drawer anyway. So, and now I move it in and they don't fall over. So thanks for watching. I know it's not the kind of project video that you were necessarily wanting to see but it's just part of the organization of the shop and something that I felt had to be done nothing special but again just something I needed for shop organization now I can finish I've still got a few boxes that I've got to unpack and figure out where I'm going to put stuff but all in all the shop is mostly functional and true to form it is once again the messy studio but i'll clean that up thanks for watching y'all come back and see us i promise i'm gonna have a turning video real soon thanks again y'all please like and subscribe y'all know the drill come back and see us my protection what What? Yes, I love you too. Yes, I do.